Hey, what is up, players? It's Warboss Tay up in Smud. Project Apocagust is just about uh, getting underway here at the tail end of August. I know I haven't been able to get anything done. It's been a really busy year for me, and or month of the year. It's the first month back at school, and I got a huge promotion, so my uh, gaming and hobbying time is definitely seeing the worst effects of that. Um, but thankfully, I have a very long Labor Day weekend, so I'm going to try and get caught up. I know War Painter Brian has already made some great progress on his Stampa, so uh, I'm going to be putting together today my uh, Bane Blade. I've decided to go with the Bane Blade for my Vostroyans, and um, so I'm going to film this here little video, and uh, we will see how far I get today. It is um, going to be just like my uh, time-lapse Deathcore Creek videos. I'm going to see if I can get these all done, um, get, get as much done as I can. So I'm working here on the first couple pieces that I've cut out, and uh, we'll see. I'll, I'll be uh, updating you as I go on my uh, successes and failures and things that I found difficult and things that uh, went well for me as I go. All right, so we'll see you as the video commences. Okay, so here we go. We are building the little inside wheels, scraping off some mold lines. And uh, yeah, mold lines here, not so great, but that's all right. They go right down the middle of the wheel, which is a little bit of a pain. Um, like I was saying, you also want to make sure that you've got those little teeth in the right places. Um, you don't want to have the teeth be in the wrong side of the areas when you're gluing them all together. Having the um, like the the pieces match up is a real big help. So I think the design on putting these together is a huge help. I did have some stumbling blocks along the way when I couldn't really figure out. I couldn't dry fit things correctly. I was having a hard time putting things together like this front part over here, the, the front wheel that is the first thing you're supposed to glue together. Yeah, I had a hard time uh, matching that piece up. But wow, what a beautiful kit when you're putting it all together like this. These tracks, they go on pretty nicely. The plastic cement, I'm kind of impatient, so I, I wanted to get them all done in like one sitting, but uh, they take some time to harden. So uh, at the beginning, they're still pretty um, easy to move around. You might see that uh, some of my other pieces fall off when I'm uh, trying to glue the next piece on, they just kind of come loose and fall off because the bond isn't set yet. But in the long run, this chemical, or the plastic cement, uh, chemically bonds the cement pieces together much better than, than super glue. Man, what a beautiful kit. The Bane Blade, so expensive, but, um, if you're ever planning on doing an apocalypse game, it's a beautiful kit to have, a lot of fun to build. At least the little that I've gotten to so far, we'll see how how much I'm liking it once we get to the the more intricate turret and the sponsons and all the doodads on that piece. <clears throat> now I'm cutting out the little uh, plates that go on top of these wheels. I'm gluing on these uh, extra fuel bar barrels that hang off the back there. It's a really bad mold line right where it splits in the middle of both of those barrels, so I'll have to green stuff or liquid green stuff those on. I was having a hard time matching up the... There's a little round piece that's supposed to fit on the side of 
that inner wall and on those barrels but as you can see I'm having a really tough time getting them to stick. And here we're popping on the armor plates on the front. So much fun. Seeing it all kind of coming together like this. And this is the uh, cleaning up the mold lines of the smoke launchers there. And then gluing on the armor plates. And there's the left side. I think the next thing that I was doing was, yeah, cutting and gluing together the uh, center section of the tank. Cleaning the mold lines off the side and getting all the flash. It's funny, there's this little connector bar between these two flat plates and it's just like it almost looks like a little piece of sprue that you can kind of see it there um, right next to that circular section where it's just all it's doing is really just holding the two flat pieces together because the um, bottom of the floor of the tank is so large and wide it's just there to stabilize it there I'm gluing the second side there the second little connecting bar Here's the back and finally putting it all together the left and the right tracks it's holding it in place putting it together yeah I wasn't this wasn't fitting so there you go there you have it players the first section of my project Apoc August in September videos the main blades, tracks, wheels, and side armor in front have all been put on with the little smoke launchers and headlights there. So stay tuned to see what we do in number two, probably getting onto the center section and the turret and all that awesomeness. Thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next video.